Welcome to episode 12 of the Ask Bunker Show. Today we are asked, why is my site showing as not secure? If you see up here in the top left of ours on Chrome, it shows the lock and secure. A lot of people have added SSL certificates as of January 1st, 2017 because of Google, but we're going to show you why some sites, like this one here, HTTPS, only show the I symbol and how to fix that. Stay tuned. Again, thanks again to everyone who's following us. Our YouTube channel, we have 46 subscribers. We'd love to push up to 50. If this is something you like, go ahead and hit subscribe, and we'll have more content just like this. All of our questions and from people that have submitted them via comments on YouTube, our website, pressavenue.com, or on Twitter, etc., where you can find us. All right, so getting into this, why does my website not have the secure symbol? So if we shoot back to this one here, it says secure, it says all this stuff right here. Uh, we have a previous video on why Google did this change. They're basically making the web more secure, and they want everyone on HTTPS. Uh, so to do that, we use something called Let's Encrypt. So we go here and I go to letsencrypt.org. Uh, you can see more about it here, or you can purchase an SSL certificate anywhere. So this particular site right here um, shows HTTPS, but it's also showing this warning. When I click it, it shows a number of things in here, and you can go through the details of why this isn't fully secure. So if I click details, it shows me mixed stuff. I can go to the network panel, etc. After walking some people through this, I've realized this isn't the best way to do it, and I actually have a better way. So if you select your website and go to a site called whynopadalock.com, this takes the pain out of digging through the network panel, which a lot of people actually haven't used. Um, so why no padlock? Uh, find out what's insecure. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to paste this URL in here and hit check and let it work its magic. Basically, it's going to kick out a list of everything that's showing is not secure. And then I can run through and troubleshoot the site to ultimately fix it and show that secure sign. So it may take up to 60 seconds. And there we go, it's loaded. So we have our website here. Number of items downloaded, 172. It's found the certificate. This is the issue. So check, and I come back down to this red X. Now it's showing out of 172 items, six are not secure. So troubleshooting this site will be very easy compared to other sites. Um, so we'll kind of look through this. Insecure URL. So this first URL here is simply a CDN with WP Engine. Um, if you have WP Engine and you see this, it's ultimately yourdomain.com. You can put in front of this to see. So an image on the home page is not secure because there's no S. A ebook image on the home page is not secure. Then further down, we have a little different one. Fonts from Google are not secure. So if I were to copy this here, copy, open a new tab and paste it. This is what's loading. And it's an easy fix because it still works with the S. So if I do HTTPS instead, I load it and now this is secure. So basically if I go back to no padlock, this was found in my domain, which is the CDN, my theme slash style.css. So there are four instances, or no, two, of a Google font not loading secure. So that one's easy to fix. So I've already logged into my FTP with a program that I like to use called Coda for the Mac, it's this little leaf. And I'm gonna come down to my style sheet. We'll give it a second to load here. And the culprit is right up here at the top. So you can see I'm importing in these two fonts. So to fix this one, I simply just add an S and I save it. Upload complete, so we got that one. So these two have been knocked out. This homepage one and ebook are most likely in widgets on the homepage. So I'll come over here and I'll go to customize and I'll kind of run through adding S's uh, to some of these images that are essentially hard coded in here. All right, so I'm gonna speed through this video and just speed it up. I essentially went through the customizer and changed everything. And troubleshooting does take time. Uh, just make sure it's billable time.
All right, so we'll rerun the script on checking this. So why no padlock? Get my domain name. I'll let it load one more time. We'll see if we got them all. Um, and then we'll go from there. So we did not get them all. Oh, it's probably because the CDN. So if you use a CDN as a content delivery network, it is still caching these saves. All right, it took a little while to get the cache completely cleared. What I did is I logged into the back end and I have a WP Engine button and I purged all the caches and then wait, waited five minutes and then refresh the sites. Where am I? Um, and now I have a secure lock here instead of that I. So again, it is troubleshooting and going back and forth between your possibly style sheet functions. Sometimes people have hard coded in HTTP, um, which there are better ways of doing things. Additionally, check in your widgets and in your posts as well, and you'll see how to do that. Uh, I'll link below a search and replace that'll help. And good luck. If you have any questions, please let us know. Again, if you like what we posted, please subscribe. There's a button right over here. It's red. Uh, and also give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful. And I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks so much.